Well, good morning, everybody. How'd you sleep on the very first van night? Not bad. You just have to get used to. I have to like get used to that. I'm not in my house. I'm sleeping in a van. Took a while to find somewhere to sleep. Still daylight when we stopped at was it ten? At ten, it was weird. It was like it was still noon outside. It was very weird. So luckily, we have a bunch of window shades that go on all the windows, and then. Up here we have the curtain we showed you before, um, but, and I have my face mask, but it was very weird. The problem that we ran into when we were traveling cross country in the Jeep is we needed to find somewhere to sleep before dark fell because it, obviously it's hard to see, um, you know, pull-offs and, and what might be an opportunistic place to stay if it's dark out. So it was kind of refreshing being like 10 p.m. and it's still like daylight like midday so it was kind of like messing with us a little bit like we were like yeah I'm okay to keep well she was driving so she's like I'm okay to keep driving but really it's like 10 p.m. so like we need to we need to like think about where to sleep we were trying to find some place like scenic at least with like a view and if not like a view maybe like next to some water like a stream or a creek or something and every, every place that we found either uh, wasn't free, which isn't like a huge deal, but we're trying to, we, we paid a lot of money to stay in this van. So we're trying to like keep it down a little bit. Um, so it was either not free or inaccessible with this van. Like we found one, one spot last night that I really wanted to stay at, but like I would only take my Jeep down it. We also have like running boards. Yeah, the running board is what got me. They're pretty low. And the tires on this thing, they're kind of just, uh, run of the mill they're not like all terrain like what i have on the jeep today's just denali right because tomorrow, tomorrow tomorrow's john's <laughs> birthday tomorrow's my birthday so she's got something <clears throat> planned like i had planned for her when we went on our cross-country trip yeah. out in montana in uh glacier national park we had that luxury picnic if you all remember tomorrow john's gonna be 36 and he gets to spend his birthday in alaska so we're gonna get on the road and get to exploring this beautiful state A nice little scenic place to stop at. <laughs> Got some whack jobs rafting down there. It's freezing. I'm still just so ecstatic that we got a van. Well, as you can see, we had to get our winter hats on because we are in Alaska. It is July, but it's like 50 degrees and it's super windy. And I have a tight skin fade, which makes it extra cold for me. But a little update, we had to go past the park to get gas, which the van actually didn't take as much as we thought. It was what, $84? It's a 20 gallon tank. We put in uh, 
17 something, gas was 489, which is a little high compared to like home. Because right, Alaska again. Right now, <laughs> I think it's like, uh, what, 350 something, 360 something at home? But it's not like California prices, at least. Let's go. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, as you can see, we're at Denali National Park at the entrance, so we're going to go ahead and get ourselves inside of it. Get our park pass, and let's go explore. <laughs> We're on a little hike here, if you want to call it that. This it's is like a brisk walk. This is called the Mountain Vista Trail. Ooh. And um, apparently, per the sign, uh, bears fr frequent this area. Frequency. So, bears frequenting this area. So, <laughs> wish us luck not to turn into bear food. Tell you what, though, I don't know how much you guys can get from the B roll from like yeah. driving in the van. But um, hmm. <laughs> the views are ridiculous. Alaska is pretty incredible already. And it's really only our first full day. Long story short, this used to be called Mount McKinley National Park. And here's a little behind the scenes of that shot. Living's pretty convenient. Just got my shoes from the bedroom, made a drink in the kitchen, got the bottled water from the bathroom, and now we're ready to go. <laughs> we're gonna go see some puppies. If you couldn't read that, we're going to the sled dog kennels. Sled dog kennels, so like when they do mushing up here in Alaska? Mushing. <laughs> in winter time, these are like if there's some an issue in the park or just I don't know in general, the puppy dogs go throughout the park. So we're gonna go meet the huskies. My mom would absolutely love this. <laughs> You could see from the video, but there was a dog named Munchkin. 
<laughs> and he was like asleep and he just like just opened his eyes and like came right to attention <laughs> and he just like glared at me and i think it's he because he did not like john's camera this is this is called a dead cat this pretty much eliminates all of the wind noise that i use on top of my uh <laughs> camera on the microphone he just was staring at it and john would move the camera <laughs> and it's furry and he was just like glaring at it <laughs> This is all the information about the sled dog's poop. Neat. Not mine. Tickets to ride that train are what? Depending on how far you want to go, they could start around like 70 to 80 and could go upwards of 500 depending on how far you want to go and like the perks you want. I think the more expensive ones um, are with meals and drinks and stuff like that. You heard that right, $500. But Anchorage to, Anchorage to Fairbanks is like seven or eight hours so i mean on a train it's probably even more i don't know our plane tickets were like 500 dollars from new york to alaska i'm just going to show you guys the kind of stuff john has me do because he likes staying off the beaten path look at look at this path i'm about to drive down with this van because he walked down here first here we go I mean, it does look pretty, because there's Denali and the mountains and stuff. Well, we found where we're camping for the night. Sorry if there's wind. It is pretty windy where we are, but we've got some gorgeous... Let me see if I can focus it on back there. Gorgeous views where we're at. Alaska's been be beautiful, guys. <laughs> I'm excited to show you guys everything.